Okay, Cancers. <clears throat> the overall energy of this reading is the Eight of Cups. You're turning your back on something. You're walking away from something. So this surrounds your whole reading. So let's read and find out why the Eight of Cups is right in the middle of your reading. Up here in your highest energy is the Queen of Swords. This is possibly Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It might be one of those might be strong in your chart or around this reading. Uh, but male or female, this is about seeking the truth. This is tell, speaking your truth and seeking the truth with that sword of truth and clarity right there. So, I think, I don't know if you've already done that. You are about to do that if you haven't done it. The queen has the hand pointing right towards the fool. So the fool here, this could be another energy or it could be your own energy. This is like dancing along with your head in the clouds, enjoying every moment, um, living in a, in a carefree world. Um, it, it's, it's really a fun card. There's a lot of joy associated with this card. But the thing about the fool is they find themselves at the edge of a cliff. And um, many times that's what happens because the fool is looking up, not forward. So maybe the truth and the clarity here is, is taking a look at, at maybe wanting to change how you have been uh, moving forward in your life. Maybe you're deciding that now is the time to start looking forward instead of um, just dancing along, enjoying the moments, so to speak. Because this full card here is right next to the world. This is a new life cycle. I think you're ready for change. I, I feel like this is all within you so far. That you are ready for uh, change. This life cycle has been waiting for you. And you're ready to go with this Eight of Cups right in the middle of this reading. So this is sort of like turning your back on... You, your your own way of life or way of being, not really a way of life, but it's more of the way you look at life and getting a little more serious because I think you're walking away from this fool energy. It's always good to keep some of that energy, okay, of the fool because the fool is spontaneous and this, the fool is, uh, there is a lot of joy and fun associated with the fool. Uh, but if you're totally living in this energy here, you get, you really do f usually find yourself at the edge of that cliff. So under the Queen of Swords is the Ace of Swords, really wanting to pay attention to that sword. And there's her crown right on top of that sword there. So this truth and this clarity, it's like, it's like you're really taking a look at yourself. You're asking yourself, where am I going? What am I doing? What are, what are, you know, where am I going to end up? Um, I think you're just kind of looking towards the future now, and you weren't before. So, all this truth and clarity is helping you to um, change the, the direction in which you are moving in your life. The Page of Cups is right next to the Eight of Cups. It's like pulling one of these cups out. See, there's a cup missing right there in the Eight of Cups. And being that the Page of Cups is right next to it, it's like picking one of those cups up, taking a closer look at it, and like it, and thinking, you know, living in this full energy is bringing me all these love offers or cups of love that are tainted. There's a fish in them. There's something in these cups. And I think I want to um, look for something more permanent, more, more secure in my life. So... Um, taking a look at these cups, there's, uh, this card here is could be could signify Pisces because there's a fish in the cup. So Pisces might be strong in your chart. Uh, someplace, moon rising, Venus ascending, whatever. Uh, might be strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But more importantly, it's about taking a look at the cups here. Having that truth and that clarity really realizing what you're getting out of life in the long haul, okay? Not just in the moment. This Page of Cups is under the World card. So that new life cycle, um, yeah, you're going to be moving right towards that new life cycle. You're ready for change. You know, we all go through that. You're ready. You're getting there. Um, the Moon card is right under the Ace of Swords. And like I said, 
uh, things are go being revealed, exposed, night turning to day. So, you know, you didn't know that lobster was there until it crawled out of the water. Uh, you, you know, this is just, you know, at night you can only see a certain amount of what's out there until the sun comes up. So your truth and clarity is going to be uh, a revelation to you. Um, it looks like you're going to see things how they, how they are, and you're going to want to do things a little differently. This is also the card for Pisces. This is the card in the deck for Pisces, so there's one, two cards already. Uh, you might have Pisces strong in your chart someplace or in someone else's chart around this reading. Next to the moon card is the Knight of Wands. Now, walking away, you know, turning your back, uh, things being revealed. I think you, it feels like this living in the moment energy um, has brought in a lot of people have come in and went. Uh, cups of love, uh, love offers, lovers, whatever. Uh, they have come and gone. And the Knight of Wands energy is just, it's a playful energy, but uh, there's no real regard for the future. There's, there's no real regard for anything except the passion and the moment, just like the fool. And you're walking away from this type of energy because you're realizing you're ready for change. Right next to the Knight of Wands and under the Page of Cups is the Strength card. This is the card for Leo. So Leo might be strong in your chart, might be strong around this reading. Most import importantly, the energy is about that infinity symbol there that signifies knowing and intuition. And it, this lion, this taming, this petting of the lion, it's, it's, what it is is knowing what you have to do and finding the strength and the courage to do it. So, um, this is like a, a big deal. This is a big deal in your life. This is a big change is about to, to happen. Uh, you're aware of it, uh, or you're becoming aware that this is what you want. Yeah, um, okay, so up here in your highest energy, close to that new life cycle, this is a lot of joy. This is celebration. Uh, between friends, relatives, um, it can be, you know, just good times, barbecues, parties, um, clubbing, concerts, anywhere where people gather to have a great time. Um, the, the hermit here is shining the lantern right on this three of cups. The hermit, the card for Virgo, by the way, so Virgo might be strong in your chart or around this reading, but you've reached out to the universe, and you are seeking your path forward. You know you want to enter. You know you're ready. I mean, you really can't deny when, uh, you know, you can try to block uh, new life cycles from coming in. But they happen. They, they just do. So, the hermit shining the lantern on the three of cups. It's, it's like the universe is saying, go out. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. So like I said, you, you don't stop enjoying your life with the fool here. Um, you know, entertain. Maybe have your own little gathering at your, at your home. But enjoy yourself. And it's going to be a happy time, this new life cycle. It's gonna, it is still going to be a happy time, but you're looking at it in a different way. So behind the hermit is the six of wands. Now, this is the idea of other people, your friends, your, your relatives, people who care about you, all celebrating your achievements here in love. So it, it's like, I think what you're deciding is you want a more um, secure relationship. You want to be able to find somebody um, special enough to become engaged and maybe go traditional. I don't think you were living very, really traditionally over here. But on this side of the reading, it looks like this is where you're headed. So, and it looks like the Six of Wands here, uh, this can be a card of engagement, but these are people celebrating your achievements. And, and you know, celebrating on the other side of the Hermit card. I almost feel like you might meet somebody very special at one of these group... Um, uh, situations where people are gathered to have fun. 
Um, but since you're looking at things in a different light, you're, you're going to choose your cups of love differently. All right. So under this two or three of cups is a two of cups. I think there is a soulmate and, and, and it's a friend. There is somebody in, within your group of friends that really has a sincere cup of love for you, male or female. This is friends with love. It's a beautiful card. Soulmate. This is a soulmate card. Known each other from another lifetime. You have a special connection. If you don't know who it is, you are going to find out who it is. Because you're looking at things in a different way. Next to the Two of Cups is the Two of Wands. Right under the Hermit card. You know, seeking your path forward. There you are. Got the whole world. The world is right here. You got the whole world, the whole new life cycle out in front of you. Uh, and this is wondering what it's going to bring in for you. You're holding the staff of new beginnings, fresh starts, right next to that two of cups. So the hermit saying, go out and enjoy yourself because there's somebody waiting for you here that's a soulmate. You might already know them or you're going to meet them through some group of friends or relatives or something here. And then we have the chariot on the other side of the two of wands and under the six of wands this is your card cancer but the what's most important is the energy of the chariot is moving forward right towards this brand new life cycle and this new life cycle is basically in your in your head it's basically the way you're looking at life it's 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 your priorities your priorities are shifting a bit here and it's going to open the door to new opportunities. Under the two of cups, I have the three of pentacles. This is close to that strength card. Having the strength to do what you need to do. That you know you need to do to enter this new life cycle. And it's also under this two of cups. The three of pentacles, this is kind of a, well kind of, it is a dark card. It's black. Um, but this is about um, butting heads, not seeing eye to eye. Um, it, it's about, it's, it's an extra person is here. Um, I, I just feel like this is a card of your past energy, um, of this in and out energy, which is close to this finding the strength to, um, you know, to, to pay more attention to the steps that you're taking forward, forward in life, not looking up in the sky. Um, so I feel like this energy here has totally worn you out. And I think that's why you're, you're moving forward. That's why you're taking a closer look at it. And that's why you are, you know, like having this conversation with yourself about where am I going and what am I doing? You know, you're ready. You're ready to move forward. This is being feeling drugged through the mud, worn out. You're, you're just done with this full energy. You're just done uh, living in the moment. You, you want to think about the future. And then on the back side of this Nine of Wands is a soulmate card. Again, you might already know this person through your family or through your friends. Maybe even, you know, since childhood. Uh, this is a sweet soulmate card right under your card. Um... And the energy of moving forward, so soulmate, two of cups, soulmate, six of cups. Um, you've definitely known them in another lifetime, like I said before, and you'll know. You know when you look in their eyes, there's that feeling, that connection, that you already know them. So, whether you knew them from childhood or not, they are a soulmate, and you're going to be moving forward with them. And this is going to lead to something more permanent, and that is your desire but, but so it's like you're, you're taking this, this whole way of life that you're living here and you're changing. You're walking away from this lifestyle into looking forward instead of looking up. 